Welcome to this Excel tutorial on transposing data. That's getting data that was horizontal and we want to make it vertical or maybe it's vertical and you want to make it horizontal. Uh, we're going to look at three ways of doing that. The first way is the bog standard way. You probably know it already. It's basically copy and paste. So you copy some data, you paste the data and so it's going to go into a a bit of a better way or a way that's easier for you to handle in Excel and create pivot tables, etc. The second way is a little bit more difficult. We're going to use a function. Uh, it's called the transpose function. However, it's not as flexible as the third way that we're going to do. Now, the third way, we're going to use a function that it's a little bit more tricky. The formula is going to be a little bit more tricky, um, but it's completely flexible. And it's the one that I would suggest to go for if you can get your head around it. Uh, it took me a little while to do that, but I was looking for an answer to a particular client. So um, let's just get started. First, bog standard easy way, okay? Um, so we've got our data here, as you can see. I'm just going to zoom in. You can see all this nice data. Now, let's just create the scenario here that the person that's created this data for you it enters it in an Excel spreadsheet, maybe in another sheet somewhere, and they always enter in the data in this method with the column headers as row headers. So I want name, city, favorite, color, uh, phone number, and email to be across the top, and I always put it on the side. I've told them time and time again, but they just refuse to do it. And everybody that they train in their department do it this way. I'm sure you've come across certain people that um, are so willing to help as those types. Anyway, so what do we do? How do we go about it? So first thing is, is you highlight your data, like so. You copy the data, just click on copy at the top. You click where you want your data to go. So say for example, just go over here into column M. Okay, um, oh, let's say, yeah, sort of just over here. And then I would go to paste and over here, there's the transpose option. You see that button just there, give it a click and that will transpose the data there. So give it paste, give it a click and you see that your data is transposed. Okay, oops, I just bung that one, one in here. Let's just delete that there, that's good. So there we go. So you can see the data is transposed. Uh, well, normally I would do that on a separate sheet. So just one more time, I'd highlight the data uh, copy the data just at the top. I'm just clicking on the copy button, but you can press Control C on the keyboard. Matters not. Swap to another sheet. Click where you want it to go. Paste, and you click on the, the transpose button, basically. So that transpose button just there. And you can see the data is transposed. Dead easy. That's great. Obviously, the downside with that one at all uh, is if I go and I start adding things like pets, you know, and cat and dog, and the trouble is, is if I go to sheet, it, it doesn't add it in there at all. Um, and the other thing as well, the downside of it is if I change the data, you know, I meant to put a capital email in here. If I go back to sheet three, you can see the email, where is it at the top, is not capitalized. It's not very flexible. I have to keep going back and forward, and uh, yeah, it's not great. So let's move on to the second way of transposing data. That's using the transpose function. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do is actually, I'm just going to change this to uh, copy and paste the sheet name. And I'm going to change sheet one to data. So that's the actual data itself. Let me delete pet, cat, and dog. So let's get rid of that one there. Great. So next time, we're going to do a um, new sheet. Let me drag the sheet to the end there. I'm just going to rename the sheet transpose. So the transpose function is a nice function. It's an array function, which is which means you have to hold down Control, Shift, and Enter to work this function. So what do I mean by that? So if you go to um, the data, and you're going to select it. Now, the difficult thing with this is you have to count how many rows and columns you want to go across. So for instance, this is one, two, three, four, five rows, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten columns. So when I copy the data, like so, and I go to my transpose, I'm going to have to do one, two, three, four, five columns, and down to ten. So I'm going to have to select that area beforehand. Okay. Let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm typing there. So let's just go in here. Okay, and I'm just going to move it up a little bit so you can see. So now I type in the formula, and the formula is equals transpose, open, oops, open bracket. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to reselect the data, 
and select this data here like that. And then I'm going to close off my brackets. Just going to zoom in so you can see here, so you can see my formula. Now to finish it off, I must press Control, Shift, and Enter. So I'll hold down Control, Shift, and Enter. So when I press that, you can see the data is transposed. If I look at the, if you look at the top here with the transpose function just here, you can see those little curly braces. Can you see them just there? And that indicates that I have entered it as an array function. In other words, I hold held down Control Shift and then I tapped on Enter there. And there we go. We've got the data. Let me just uh, adjust that, make that a little wider. Uh, the beautiful thing about that is it will update. So instead of fav color, I can go back to the data here, and instead of fav color, I can just click on the top and call it, you know, favorite color. There we go. So I've got favorite color in here. That's great. If I go back to the transpose, I can see it's updated it. Favorite color. Brilliant. Uh, as opposed to copy and paste where it doesn't update it. So the transpose way of changing data or transposing data from vertical to horizontal, vertical and horizontal to vertical uh, is a little bit more flexible. But the downside of that is, what well, well, let me show you. If you go back to data here, you click at the bottom. And again, if we add pets and dog and cats here, and then if I swap back to transpose, you see that it's not there. It's, you know, the data is not there. So you might say, well, you have to do what, Simon? Why don't we just increase the amount of data? So if you think, oh, okay, so what I do is I select more. Okay, type in my equals transpose, you know, like so. And then I go back to my data and I just select my amount of data here, like so. That's good. Close it off and then hold down control, shift and enter. That's fine. But now you see I've got these little NA functions here and it just makes it awkward a little bit difficult, you know, uh, it just looks a bit rubbish really. And, and of course, if I've got extra columns, it's gonna have lots of NAs. Uh, and I've had a muck around with the if function and everything like that. If you've got an answer to this of incorporating the if function within the transpose, that'll be fantastic. Uh, and I'll add an, it on as an extra video. So at this moment in time, don't know how to do that, but we'll, I'm working on it. However, let's go to the last uh, method of transposing or uh, converting data from horizontal to vertical. Uh, and that is using a function called offset. So first of all, it's a little bit difficult to get your mind around, but what we're going to do is we're going to just do a new tab and then we're going to say offset. Now I have some more details on how the offset function works. There's a link to the computer tutoring website and I'll give you that down below uh, and I'll put that in the video uh, as well. So how does this work? Well, what, the way the offset function works basically is you look at a particular cell and then it works out how many cells down or up or left and right uh, from that cell. And with relative referencing, you know, when you do your autofill, we can use that to do transposing. So let's have a look here. So if we go back here, I'm just going to zoom into this top one and I type in a formula. So the formula first is going to be offset. So there we go. So it's equals offset open bracket. I'm going to go back to the data and click on A1 and then press my F4 key to um, um, to give the dollar signs in there. Okay, let me just uh, zoom in a little bit here, and that's just so you can see. There we go. All righty then, so next thing, we're going to come back to uh, doing the rows in a second, but first of all, I'm going to type in zero in there and do a comma. Now, the second argument, I just want to, for every column I go down, so this one here, you can see the second argument is for, is for columns. So for every row I go down, I want it to go a column across, depending on which cell I happen to be in. So there's a nice little function called row. So I'm going to say the row of A1, so that's row of A1 in the current sheet, take away whatever row happens uh, A1 will be in. I put the dollar signs in. And I close that one off as well. Let me just press enter, make sure it works. Let me just zoom back so you can see. So if you look at this function here, let's just zoom back here. Where are we? Here we go. There we go. So columns we're going to come back to, uh, or rows here, this one here would come back to. So basically, this is converting columns into rows. So as I drag down the rows, it's going to go across columns. It's going to take away the current row, which is whatever this one happens to be. So in this case, it will be A1. Um, here, uh, and then when I drag it across, it'll be A2 and A3 and A4, etc., away from that first row at the top there. Great, excellent. So let me just go back uh, and let's just try it out by auto filling. And if I drag it down, 
you can see the names that are coming down there. Now I do get zeros at the end here. We're going to address that in a second with a nice if function, but there you go. It's nearly there. What I need to do is when I drag out the function, you see what's happening. It's choosing the same one, name, 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 name. It's using the same name. So what I need it to do here is I will need it to go to city and to, what else have I got here? Uh, favorite color and phone, etc. So how do I do that? When I go back to the original function, I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna clean all of this up as well. Let me just delete all of this, make it nice and clean. Back to the original function here. Let me just double click so we can go into this one a little bit more. Let's just go, to this. Let's go zoom right on in there, there we go. Brilliant, so it's this one here. We do exactly the same with the columns. So with the column, I can go to column and I'm going to put column there a That's it, one, there we go. And then I'm going to take away whatever column it happens to be in here. So it will be A1, and I'll put the dollar sign in. Let me just go to the end so I don't get rid of what I've just typed. Brilliant, press enter, and I've got name there as well. So let me just go through. So this is doing exactly the same with columns as it is rows. Remember the first argument in the offset function when I go here is the rows. So whatever, how many of the columns I go across, um, here, that will be rows down, and however, and then the second argument is columns. So, however many, however many rows I go down, it will be columns across. I hope that makes sense. You might have to look at this video again, and please just give it a go with these exercise files. Let's make sure it works. So that's gone to name here. So let's drag it across. If I drag across, I can see now name, city, favorite, phone, and I can go back here. Pets, brilliant. I get my zero in here. I'll talk that problem out in a second and then I should be able to drag it straight down and it's starting to pick up uh, the others as well. There we go. Good. Let me just zoom back a little bit. So this is completely flexible. So if you go back to data and you start typing in extra, so dog, cat, uh, what else have you got? Rabbit as a pet, uh, hamster. I'll leave it up to your imagination to type in other pets in there. But if I go back to my offsets just here, I can see it starts filling this one in automatically. I'm just going to auto fill, this way it auto fits the column header so I can see them there. Yeah, it's all starting to come together. I just need to, I'm just bring, oops, sorry. let's bring that one out. And uh, I'm just going to do this one. Bring that one in a bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the last little thing, we can wrap that all up in a nice if statement. So I'll just finish it off with doing that. So if you're wondering, well, you know what, I, I, I can understand what you're doing here, Simon. But say um, I dragged it down like so, and I've got all these extra zeros. And the same to the right-hand side. If I drag out here, I get these extra zeros. And again, if I go back to the original one, I'll wrap it up in an if statement. Now, because it's looking at one cell at a time, I can write in there something along the lines of, uh, let me just zoom in so you can see. Okay, so something along the lines of if, and then offset blah, 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 does not equal blank, then, and I don't want to type that whole function out again, so I'm just going to highlight that all and copy it, and go to the end here and paste it. So if it's not blank, something's in it, then do the uh, calculation, just move it right across, otherwise put in blank. There we go, I'm just going to press enter. Just zoom back. So there we go. That's a nice long function. Let me just zoom in so you can sort of see that one there. So basically, this part of the function is checking to see, you know, when it looks at the offset and it cross reference it over to the data sheet, is there some data in cell A1 or in A2 or in B1 or in B2 or whatever it happens to be? If there is, great, do the offset function. If there's not, put a blank in there, as you can see with the little quotation marks. Um, great, excellent. So let's just give that on a practice. So now I can, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll zoom back a bit so you can see, you know what the formula is now. I can drag it all the way over here. Nothing's there, it's blank. I can drag it all the way down to whatever row that I want it to be. Uh, let's just go click on home. That's great. So now this is a big formula. I might want to protect this because it looks like you're entering data into the sheet, but you're not. You're entering data into the data sheet just down here. So make sure we enter data into that data sheet at the bottom there. So now we can add other stuff in. So once we've got hamster and tortoise and mouse, um, there we go, um, Maine Coon, all these massive cats or something, you know, you've got there, um, what's it, parrots, uh, there we go, goldfish, can't forget the goldfish. 
Now, the beautiful thing about that is if I go down here and then I want to say, for instance, I've got their phone numbers, got their favorite colors, uh, I don't know, let's just say favorite uh, superhero, and Iron Man, Superman, and it goes on and on and on and on, etc. When we go back to offset, we can see it automatically adds that data in there. So there we have three ways of transposing data, three ways of changing data so that it was horizontal, so that it becomes vertical, and vice versa. You can do it if it's vertical, so that it becomes horizontal. Please give this a thumbs up. Please like if you've got anything out of this. Uh, it will be great. When we get to our 500 subscribers, uh, then we'll make sure we run a competition so you can get something out of this because you're giving, we'll give something back to you. Um, so please click on the subscribe button as we'll keep on continuing uh, bring out different videos and different and various topics. Thank you so much for watching.